Where am I today? <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting from his secret vacation spot. Ah, Far Rockaway, Queens. Far Rockaway, Queens, where the President of the United States is from. Beautiful beach day, man. Doesn't get better than this. Surf is up, but there's no surfers. Yeah. It's a nice waves. Maybe three to four foot wave. Nice. Not a single surfer in the water. Amazing. So, Mark's Scott reporting. I guess, you know, just chilling out today. Talk about some of the... I was just looking at some of the news today. On this beautiful sunny day. It's cool. It's like 60 degrees. I love it, man. This is when I come to the beach. It's me and the birds. Birds. About an hour ago, there was nobody here. Now it's like... Eh, some people. <laughs> so... What's going on? What's going on in the world? What's going on? Seems like everything's spinning out of control again, or is it a quiet day? Seems a little quiet. I'm a little quiet. I feel, you know, I feel, uh, I don't know, nothing's grabbing my attention in the news right now. You got Trump who keeps uh, $20 bills in his back pocket, you heard? <laughs> He's like the candy man. He walks around handing out $20 bills for the hotel people. And it's interesting. There was a picture of him boarding uh, Air Force One and and they, you look down and he's got his the wind blew his coat back and you see a pile of 20s in his pocket and it hanging out of his back pocket Trump so he said oh that's, uh, that's tips what's he tipping hookers <laughs> I don't know that was weird he says uh, interesting too the president said he said um I haven't used a credit card in years, so I don't even have a wallet. <laughs> right? Who's gonna Who's gonna charge him? He's gonna walk in, and, and someone's gonna say, "Yeah, uh, that's a uh, that'd be uh, seven ninety five for your hamburger." No, you, everything's free when you're the president, right? I guess that's what he meant. Also, uh, dust up with John Bolton. He didn't go down. He didn't go out gracefully. John Bolton, the warmonger, the former. National Security Advisor with the big gray mustache, the war fuck, right, that guy? He said about Trump, Trump, quote, is, was disgraceful, disgraceful, unquote, to the victims of, uh, the victims to, uh, to the 9-11 to the victims. John Bolton said Trump is disgraceful to the 9-11 victims. Why? Because he was willing to invite the Taliban to Camp David and negotiate. He also said North Korea is doomed to fail. That's what John Bolton said. It's doomed to fail. So it seems that it seems Trump although he is he plays he plays a dangerous game especially what he's doing right now in Iran by cuddling up to Saudi Arabia. That's his downfall right there, cuddling up to Saudi Arabia and Israel. Right? But to Trump's credit, aside from the insurgency wars, the counterinsurgency wars that he kind of inherited, he hasn't really started any big ruckuses. You know, to be honest. So he's doing something right. He's not doing what he promised, which was end the insurgency wars. He's just, he's not quite escalating them. He's kind of, it's just status quo. Keep them the way they are, right? You know, so I guess he gets credit for that. What else is going on? So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I was struck by what uh, Jimmy Carter said in that I, the, the, the piece I played about malaise in this country. And it does shock me as something... Um, it does shock me as something rather important that are we are we experiencing like a soul sickness in this country? Is that what's going on? Is there a soul sickness? Like people are people come online, for example, and they're so discontent, and they, you know they try to make a friend and they don't, or 
they demand a friend and the friend doesn't respond well or and then the and then the flame wars break out and it escalates to 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 uh you know people losing their musc musculocellular musculoskeletal <laughs> uh capacity losing sleep over arguing with people right that's the only reason I step into the um, the online wars because I want to understand it. I want to understand. I could, you know, I could take it or leave it, right? You could all go fuck yourselves. <laughs> what do I need that for? But it is interesting because because it's. I, I, I wonder why. I wonder why people get so um, why adult adult people can get so worked up about attacking somebody else over, I don't know, trivial, you know, online chatter. You got your feelings hurt, snowflakes. Uh, you got your feelings hurt. I'm going to fucking sue you, you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, that kind of shit, right? You wonder if we could all just get along, right? But it, it, it points to the, the greater thing that, that I, I, I was saying is... Um, is what Jimmy Carter talked about, which is malaise, a sense of um, dissatisfaction, discontent, and that's troubling, right? It's that people are not satisfied. They're not in the wealthiest nation in the world. People are not satisfied with their lives. They're not satisfied with their with their interactions with each other. Show me a place where where people are really content. And don't say religion because you can go there and you'll see people, you know, you know, you'll see young kids go there and, and the, you know, and they get, the, and they got some, some grandpappy ready to, you know, ready to molest them and such, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it sounds good, right? It sounds like I know what I'm talking about, right? Doesn't it sound good? <laughs> Everything sounds good when you're on the beach and you hear the waves, right? Those are big waves right there. It's... I can't zoom in, can I? Nah. It won't let me zoom, but... It's a nice breaking waves. The wind is... Wind is picking up a little bit. Wind is picking up a little bit. So I was over there meditating. I was sitting in the... I was sitting there by myself for a while. It's beautiful, right? Stripped down to your undies, rolled around in the sand. <laughs> so, so that's about it, right? Fake elections, we're still here. All the elections are fake, but America's, we're doing good, right? right we, have, we have no say anymore. That's, it's an unusual place. At least there's someone my age who could at least remember a time where the people mattered. Uh, the people did matter. And now it seems they don't, you know. There's some kind of higher, higher entity working its magic, I guess. So have a nice day, everybody. I'll be, um, I have some interesting, um, interesting footage that I'm looking at that I stumbled on I want to I'll share it with you it's some it's some of my stuff from years and years ago that I, I uh, thought I would never be able to recover and I did so I'll be playing some of that stuff soon I don't know let me know what you want to think what you want me to talk about lately because I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of drying up I go down the rabbit hole of the of the LARPs just to try to figure these crazy bastards out because you know, quite frankly, it's fun, and uh, it's also a great um, a great examination of the psychosis online right now. And I'll call it that psychosis. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Marcus Conte reporting.